What's going on guys? My name is Cal, Jailbreak Central, and today I have an app tutorial for you guys. We're going to be taking a look at the YouTube app, uh, sort of taking you through it and showing you what it's all about. So first we go ahead and open up the app. We have the home page. Um, and this is basically all the recommendations for videos that YouTube um, uses to, uh, to suggest videos for you based on what you've already watched. You see we have a watch it again column, a YouTube mix, and then some suggested channels. Now you can edit these um, by clicking the three little dots on the right hand corner of the video you see under recommended here. I can click on these and then I can say not interested, add to watch later, add to playlist, and share. If you click not interested, it'll say got it, we'll tune your recommendations. Basically YouTube will uh, edit out videos that are similar to that from your recommendations um, based on what you tell it. So I told it I don't like that video, so it'll try and get rid of all other videos there. Now if you click the top right hand corner there, the three little bars, you see we have a bunch of different tabs here. The home tab, which we just looked at, um, and then some other stuff. Sorry about that text. Uh, like my channel, for example, you go ahead and click on that and it will bring you to your YouTube channel. Uh, in which you can watch your videos, so on and so forth, look at how many subscribers you have. There's also an upload button in the right hand corner as well as in that tab. You can click that right there, the little arrow pointing up. It'll bring up your camera roll and then you can upload straight from there. Now subscriptions, of course, you guys know, channels that you subscribe to, all will show up in this tab here. Again, you can click the right hand tab and add, uh, get some more options uh, if you want. Uh, see pretty simple pretty standard uh, watch later playlist and share and you can do that with pretty much any suggested video or um, or subscription um, watch later in history pretty self-explanatory you scroll down you have your playlist from your YouTube channel not really interesting um, and then you have your subscriptions in which you can click on individual channels that you're subscribed to which will take you to your to their channel and then you can go ahead and click on their latest video uh, and so on and so forth you can manage your accounts if you go ahead and click on that top right hand corner you'll see there's my account you can add an account you can manage and remove stuff uh, from that tab there which can be useful if you're running multiple accounts now settings there's a ton of different options restricted mode um, basically filters explicit content for you uh, i would suggest don't filter because who knows what their algorithm is for that open links with chrome that's just if you have the chrome app downloaded Play HD on Wi-Fi only, I would recommend turning that off because you can usually play HD without Wi-Fi uh, unless your data plan is kind of tight, in which case you can turn that on. Then of course you have all your history stuff, clear, pause, um, notifications. You can go ahead and look through this tab yourself. All this stuff is pretty self-explanatory, but that is how you access settings and, um, and change settings in YouTube. And of course at the bottom we have feedback, help, um, so on and so forth. Now, if you pull up a video here, I'm just gonna show you how this works. The video will show, uh, start playing underneath. You have the title, you can go ahead and like it or dislike it. Uh, there's their channel right there that you can click on. And interestingly enough, YouTube has a multitask feature, which means that the video will go into the bottom right-hand corner, you see that little square, and continue to play. So you'll see here, I start playing the video, and then I go off and start looking at their channel, and the video will keep playing as I multitask and check out uh, some of their other stuff, which is pretty cool. You can do that with pretty much anything. It can be YouTube comments and stuff. We'll open up new pages and the video will continue to play in the bottom right hand corner. All you have to do to get rid of it is slide it to the right when you're multitasking and it'll quit out of the video. Now you have suggested videos based on the video you're watching there. And then of course the dreaded YouTube comment section. Uh, you just click on that tab in the bottom and then you can uh, go ahead and click on people's channels. You can like, reply, report, um, and so on and so forth. Again, uh, you see I just slide that to the right to get rid of the, uh, the multitasking feature. Now, of course, you have your search bar. Uh, you can search for videos here. You also have a mic option in the right-hand corner of the search bar. Go ahead and tap on that. It'll say YouTube would like to access the microphone. Hit OK, and then you can speak and say whatever you want. Um, and then it will listen and then bring up uh, search results for whatever you've said, which is pretty cool. Um, not really useful, but you know, it's there. Um, but anyway, guys, that is how to uh, use the YouTube app. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. And other than that, I hope you guys have a great day and see you guys later.